What's up YouTube, Jefferson here with the Sardars page. And in this video, we're actually going to set this guy up. This is the Evo SP three axis motorized gimbal. Love it, build quality is really awesome. And if you guys haven't checked out my unboxing video of this bad boy, make sure you guys click right here and it will lead you to that video. So with that said, setup is super easy as I just said. And I actually have the batteries charging right now. It's not fully charged. As you guys could tell, there's a red LED indicator right here. Once it's fully charged, it turns green. But since this is only a setup video, we don't need to do anything else. So I'm just going to remove it out of its charging port like so. And in order to do this, what we're going to do first is install the batteries. All you have to do is unscrew the bottom of this gimbal. Once you have that unscrewed like that, you want to place the batteries in with the positive facing in the actual gimbal. Once that's done, just screw it back on. And depending on how you have this placed in your gimbal, it should either power on right away. And if it's not powered on, that's because it's on the off position. This is your power button right here. And you press down all the way and it would actually turn it off. It's kind of interesting on how the mechanics works on this because the off position feels like the on and the on feels like the off. And what I mean by that is when you press in here, it's giving you a short click which feels like it's giving contact, but that's the off. When you press on it again, you will have a longer press and that's the on position. I'm not too sure if you guys understand what I'm saying, but once you guys have this, you definitely know what I'm trying to say, but it's off right now. Press and hold and it would actually turn on. But what you wanna do first is actually have the whole gimbal lay down like so. Make sure it's turned off and let's place our phone in. So for demonstration purposes, I'm going to demonstrate it with my iPhone 5S right here with the Mophie case, very, very old Mophie case. You guys can tell it's very messed up, doesn't look good, but we'll be using this. The reason being is because it's using a really thick battery case and I wanna show you it still accepts it. I also have the Samsung Galaxy S5 right here, which is a bigger phone than obviously my iPhone 5S and I wanna show you it does accept it as well. I have the counterweight right here and for these two phones, it's not necessary to have the counterweight, but I'll show you how to install that anyways. On the bottom of this gimbal motor where you see the logo Evo SP, which also has a very subtle LED indicator right there, the yellow LED indicator, that's where you wanna screw the counterweight. Very easy to screw as well. All you have to do is just turn it on there and then that's it. Don't over tie in. I did notice that there's no clearance once you install the counterweight towards this bottom. I did not find any way to actually adjust that, but since it's just the counterweight to make sure your phone for an iPhone 6 Plus or a Galaxy Note, it just helps with that. But for phones like the Galaxy S5 and then obviously the iPhone 6 and below, you're not going to need this counterweight. So let's just put that aside. Let's start off with my iPhone 5S first. What I like to do when I install this is I actually place my phone where the charging bay, you don't need to do this. It's just all preference how I want it. But I like to have my charging bay where uh, close to the bottom of that. And it also helps cover that up if you guys have a charging bay like mine. And if you're moving around, I don't like that part to get dusty or clogged up. So that's why I do it. So the way I actually insert this is I put my phone where the part that clasps in. I put that right there, push down. You wanna push down pretty hard because there's a good amount of grip. And then from there, you just place it on and then that's it. For this Mophie case, it doesn't fit on there really well because the edges actually slightly protrudes out so it doesn't clamp on. Without the case, it's perfect, but with it, it's slightly hard, but it stays on there with no issues, as you guys could see. Make sure everything is actually contacted on there. And now, lay down the phone. 
Now, what you want to do is turn on the phone. Once you turn it on, there's going to be a yellow LED indicator right here on the bottom of the Evo SP. It takes roughly one or two seconds for it to disappear. But what that is, is that you want to make sure it's leveled down just so it could calibrate properly. And once you turn on the power and that LED indicator actually turns off, you are good to go and you could pick up your phone like so. So what I've noticed is that once you lift it up, obviously right now it's not calibrated or anything and you have to press a button to do so. What you wanna do is press and hold on the mode button, which is the one that's on the center edge. So once you press and hold that, it's going to automatically calibrate. So press and hold, boom. And that's it, that's all you have to do, which is super, super easy. All right guys, so that's pretty much how you set it up with the iPhone 5S with the Mophie case on there. I'm going to remove this and now I'm going to use the Samsung Galaxy S5 without the case or with a very low profile case. It's a lot easier actually handling the phone compared to using a battery case, which is actually a little bit more tough, but still usable. As I mentioned earlier, I like to have the charging bay right at the bottom where the foam padding is. So push it against that part. And now you want to just push and then that is it. You're pretty much set up right there. Let me just press the button. Since it's on my left side compared to my right, it's just going to calibrate it like this. So it's not actually calibrated just yet, but it's just set up like that. Press and hold the button and then that's it. It's calibrated now. And then this is how you guys know, like so. So I love it, very easy to actually set up and it's very straightforward. You guys don't need to worry about how to actually use it. It's very intuitive, love it. But that's pretty much it guys. This is just a setup video. I'll be doing a full review on this one soon. So make sure you guys keep an eye out on that. But other than that, that's it. This is the Evo SP 3-axis motorized gimbal from Amazon by the company name of X Pro Heli. I'll link everything in the description box below if you guys are curious in getting one yourself. I did vlog with this as well, so make sure you guys keep an eye out for my vlog on that. Like always, guys and girls, take care. You guys tip him really, really well. He'll give you a discount if um. If you mention me. No. <laughs> <laughs> back on topic. Why Jeff gonna look so sexy though?